My name's Jordan Maya Ta'anoa, or Jordan Maya. I'm 26 years old and I'm a doctor. Serve is a big part of Whasamoa and I love the fact that you can help someone who's sick get better. It looked fun as well, like you know you watch TV programs and you watch surgeries and you watch them talk about all this crazy stuff and you're like oh that looks cool. When I was 14 years old uh, I'd seen my uncle's done quite well in business so I really wanted to go down that field. Uh, and also, I really wanted to be a rugby league star, but I knew I had to have a backup of business or, or something, just in case league didn't work out. I had one family member who'd done very well, and, and my other family side, which was my dad and my uncle, who didn't do very well. Uh, they didn't that stay at school and, and wound up spending a lot of time in jail, so I never wanted to be like that. And so there was, uh, you know, two sorts of family guidance, because it was my, from my parents, don't ever go down that path, and then my uncle, who was something that I wanted to work towards. I was nine years old when I left uh, Tonga for New Zealand and one of the barriers that I first overcome was the language barrier. I spoke Tongan and uh, you know, I was trying to understand you know, what everyone else was saying. When choosing a career, I seeked help from uh, our careers advisor and um, they uh, signed me up in this program called uh, Gateway and that for me was the gateway that uh, got me into the industry so they allowed me to uh, leave Otahuhu College and go into uh, TVNZ uh, and I did some work experience at uh, Tangata Pacifica. I didn't know anyone that was in medicine so I tried to ask, tried to look on the internet how I get into medicine. I knew I wanted to be a doctor so I asked at school like, hey miss. How do, I, how do I get into medicine? I want to be a doctor. My career journey has been one of a roller coaster. It's been ups and downs, from rags to riches and back to rags again. Uh, but you know what, that's the journey. And it's never a failure if you learn from it. You know, and um, as long as you learn from your mistakes, they're not mistakes because you will never make them again. Do the subjects that you're better at. Like I was not that great at science, so I did English subjects instead and biology to try and get into medicine. Or if you're better at science and math, then do chemistry, biology and physics. It was a huge help having a program like Gateway because that was my only opportunity uh, coming from uh, a school in South Auckland to go into uh, somewhere like TVNZ. Um, it allowed me to have a hands-on experience and uh, I got to meet people in the industry. If you're brown and you want to be a doctor, there will be scholarships. One of the scholarships that I got was the Health and Workforce Scholarships from Leva. It paid for like the whole <laughs> degree basically. Never give up. Keep pushing forward. You're going to come across roadblocks and speed bumps. You've just got to persevere, consistency and work hard. There's no nothing's going to be given to you in this life. You have to work hard and you have to be consistent.